everybody cw here it's time for another blade friday boy these just these weeks are just whipping by i've got another kind of neat knife with a little bit of a story to show you share with you today this one was a gift from a good friend of mine an old boss and a good friend of a lot of years and we uh, used to go do a lot of things together uh, extracurricular hunting mostly still do um once a year at least um but uh, this one here was uh at a place in vermont called wild hill it used to be a canned hunt place preserve hunt um high fences type of thing and we would go up there for wild boar it was a really nice atmosphere he did a really nice job really great cabin it was a long way out in the woods. There was no electricity, um, propane lights and stuff like that, generators. And it, it just, it he did a really good job. Uh, you didn't see any fences. You didn't get to walk around a whole lot. You had to sit on stand. But uh, he did a pretty good job. You know, it was, uh, it was as fair chase as it could be for you. Um, behind the scenes, there was all kinds of stuff going on. I'm sure they had, I'm sure they had uh, all different kinds of things going on that, made it not so fair for the animals but you as the hunter didn't see it you just saw an animal come walking by or a couple animals come walking by and you, you shot one of them so it was a it was a good time really good food and the atmosphere was just tremendous it was a typical new england up in the mountains big pines and such it was just a really nice really nice vacation little mini vacations anyway they had a little store. They'd sell little things, just a little, just a tiny little like kitchen table type stuff. But they had a, a series of knives and these were one of the knives that they had. This is made by Silver Stag. So they're a name brand knife. It's kind of a different shape. These are uh, supposedly shin bone scales. I don't know what they're from, but they had it laser etched from Wild Hill Preserve. And they're not around anymore. They've gone out of business. I don't know really what happened. I think they had uh, troubles, um, couldn't maintain requirements of the state and had to shut down. Anyway, it's uh, these are really good knives, really well-made knives. This was back when they first first started. So it's a pretty new, a pretty old knife for them. I don't know what the model is. It doesn't say on it. It just says uh, Silver Stag D2 made in USA. So it's good steel. You know, nicely made, well made. Nice leather sheaths. And I wrote on it. Um, 2013, it was a gift. And it's stamped to Silver Stag. And there it is. It's uh, got some tape measurements of it. Overall length is just over eight inches eight and a sixteenth blade length cutting blade length is three and a half cutting length is probably just a little bit over that yeah three and three quarters three and five eighths it's a pretty thick pretty thick blade you've got uh just shy of a quarter of an inch just shy of a quarter of an inch feels nice in the hand It'd be a, be a pretty good skinner. A little bit pointy for me. I don't like them really so pointy. But it's got a good belly in it. Which is what I do like. Um, this one here is just a keepsake. I think I did one deer with it just to say I did. But it doesn't get, uh, it doesn't really get used. It just stays in the, stays in the safe. Gift from a good friend of mine, Guando. Still got it, Dave. I still like it. It'll always be there. That's all I have for this week. Not a lot to show, but it's got a little history. Had some good times with it. Brings back some good memories. As always, join us tonight on the Georgia Shooting Channel at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, Jamie and Kyle and me and the boys, is, there's a number of us that are usually always there. Um, Walter, Gene. Um, I know they were going to um, North Carolina 
do some thousand yard shooting this past week. So we ought to have some good stories. Um, ought to be a good time. A lot to talk about. I'm sure they're going to talk about some some of their shooting, long range shooting. And I know Jamie wants to talk about precision reloading. So we'll probably work that into it because of the thousand yard shooting that they were doing. And uh, it's going to be a good time. So I invite you all to come on by a little later and uh, enjoy. Um, think of any topics or anything you want to talk about or any questions you have because we're very driven by the side chat. Um, that's where you guys are. And uh, we look forward to hearing, hearing from you and, and talking with you. And it's just a good time with a, with a bunch of friends who enjoy each other's company. So stop by and see what we got to talk about. God bless everybody. CW out.